All right, come on. Let's get right to it. What is important? What is important? Uh, the Nori tweet. There we let's go. Let's do it. Let's get into it. You, you, it's only but so much music. Uh, we'll get to the Lobby Boys soon, uh, but we'll start with the Nori tweet, which seemed to have people in an uproar. Was it real or was it hate? <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, I have been the best to this culture. I've always put hip-hop first, and I see you guys go to Ellen and David Letterman's and Zane Lowe's and treat them with more respect in the culture, but you say you want black excellence. I'm going to be honest, even going to Oprah or Gal is trash at this point. I think you meant Gail. Yeah. Uh, we control our uh, we control our in culture. Why go outside of it? David Letterman is my favorite, uh, but man, why go there or Ellen before a million dollars worth of game or Joe or the champs or even Twitter shit? Uh, that's the gist of what he said. Mm. A lot of people assumed he was talking about Cardi, who appeared with David Letterman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He later clarified, no, there was nobody in particular he was speaking to, just a general blanket statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could understand that. Like, it, it, the Cardi thing might have made him think of it. And then, yeah. Or it might have been festering. It's just something that yeah, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he's probably seen it time and time again. We mm -hmm. all have. We've, I we've think seen other people go... You said it months say, ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've said this... I've heard Charlemagne say this. Mm -hmm. I've heard academics say this. I've heard I've heard this said before now. Whether people still feel that way or not, that's entirely different. Uh, but this remains to be true mm -hmm. for me. Now, uh, you'll get some people that say, well, what do you want? People to not expand mm -hmm. and grow and transcend hip-hop and be visible to a different audience. Well, of course you do. That's the entire point. You just don't want them to abandon culture as they do it. It's absolutely nothing wrong with doing both. I was gonna say, is that the solution? Is to do both? I mean, that's what you I think you should. I, th yeah. I, th I think that's what you should, you should do if that's what's available to you. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't have that option. True. Um, for the megas, they do. Yeah, they can go wherever they want. They can go wherever. The hell well, the they beef. Want. The beef, I think, is, and it's not even a beef. So that's a poor choice of words. You always see everybody on the way up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody. Yep. They're the kindest, sweetest of souls, and then they get where they gotta go, and then you never see them again. I don't have a, a grudge in that. Uh, I understand it, but I'm also not one of the people that make a living speaking to these people. True. If I did, but as a fan too, I like mean, a, I don't, yeah, I was about to say, how do you understand it? Because as a fan, because I don't. For me, as a fan, I would like to see them. You know, a Cardi B, for example, with Nori, that would be probably a little more compelling. Although I did like the, the David Letterman. I watched it. David nah, Letterman's the man. It's like, funny. Yeah. Yeah, David Letterman is the man. But there was a clip going around not even a month and a half ago where he didn't know some huge artist's name. Mm. Who was that? I don't recall, but... I don't know. I'm not sure. But I wouldn't but be shocked. He's a 70-something year old man, probably 80-something. I get both sides of this. And then, why are we, then why are we going to him? No, I, I, because I, it's it's I still mean, once you of, get you still gotta not got go to no you it's, it's still I, I I changed my word I didn't say have to he's still he's still almost, Dave yeah, yeah he's, he's still him, him. He's, he's still him. iconic and the show's great so you he's would want interview. to I get why one would want to go there to him mm. now if I did it's 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 comedians like when they do a certain circuit it's not, not trying to put that. us in that box but it's bigger than that but if I do this on the come up. Now I've reached a certain level. I'm not even just a rapper anymore. That's like a that's true. This is this is music based stuff. That's true. I'm not dealing with music based stuff anymore. I've way grown past music. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily that I forgot these guys. It's just I'm not in that space anymore. I, that's I why I I'm not shitting on you. Like I, it's not like I'm too big to come sit with you or nothing. But our, what what your plat what you what you service and what I service is kind of different at this point. That's why I think the remedy is to do both. Because I think that when you do Dave Letterman, when you do Alan, they reach a demo that, let's just even say us, we mm -hmm. may not necessarily reach. Correct. Right? They yeah. might have a demo of 300 million people, 400 million people. Mm -hmm. So the Joe Button podcast, the Norries, the Gillies, they might not reach that many people. Let's mm -hmm. say we only reach 5 million. Mm -hmm. So I see why it would be beneficial for them to do those platforms because they reach a, a demographic that we may not. Of course. Mm -hmm. I get it. But you still can do that and still come sit on this couch. I guess you know what I'm saying? And we don't necessarily have to, and we do this. I know we do this. I don't really watch all the other platforms that closely, but 
we definitely don't have to get into a music bag. No. When we no. don't talk music, that's when some of our interviews, I think, um, come across better. Like, we had Lotto here. We wasn't necessarily talking about music. We was talking about life. Mm-hmm. We had a bunch of people here. We talk about life. So we're not but limited to just music conversations. I, I, agree, I agree with you. And there. I don't think they are. But, like, there was even a podcast um, first quarter listing that came out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We are a music podcast is what they have us classified as. True. So now just on the numbers side, the people that's invested into these acts, I don't really need you going to sit with nothing music-based right now. I need you to go get with, with this bass, that bass, this bass. Remember, this, I'm just talking about from the corporate side. Yeah, the, but the people that's putting the money into these artists, like we don't need you going to sit with nobody. Music ain't no music coming. But, but that's those, where the but that's where the beef is. Those people but, know though, because you should keep the same energy. True, and that's not the energy you have on the way up when the Ellens won't take you. When the yeah, Dave, David get, Letterman yeah, yeah, won't yeah. take you, mm-hmm. I can't then, even get there. True. Then you make, then you do the. I'd hate for you to call it a chicken, a uh, chicken yeah, circuit. I wasn't trying to say that but. because that's not what it's I not, look at it as. True, but. I would hope the labels don't view it that way. They probably do. They probably, sure. Yeah, they do. But but the artists. Uh-huh. So take the label out of it. Yeah. The artists. The artists are in tune. Mm-hmm. I don't think they've gotten to... They don't because if you say some bullshit, they know. Facts. So I think that the artists understand that this is just not a music platform. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. you could come home and talk to your people about whatever you want to talk to them but about. I, I guess I, that the I, I, don't, I, don't, I guess I the complicated the complicated part is that most of these super mega duper stars only doing about one interview a year. Like they're not really bopping around to a couple different places most of the time. Valid. Well, the reason why I disagree that, with what you're saying is that's why the exclusive might, is such a big deal. Like these these big mega star acts might not know that this ain't a music pod. They don't. Ne- they may not necessarily tune in. Yeah, if we say something about them, they then see it because somebody done clipped it and it went viral and it made it. There, it made it. Way, it's made its way to them. That's why I- that don't necessarily mean they watching the pod to know everything else. That's how all that shit get taken out of context that's anyway. That's kind of true. Uh, that's Depends on who you're talking about. Though. Cardi's actually been on this podcast, so yeah. like that's not. A Cardi's also this. taking things we've said on here out of context sure. once she's blue For to sure. a certain level think, and is not necessarily I, viewing. I'm saying that a lot of them, I think, are aware this is more than just a music podcast. Yeah, that's, like, what I'm saying. that's why I give props to Nikki. Like when she sat down and did the one-on-one individual life conversation with you, that was bigger than music. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So that's not above nobody. The Isaiah Rashad interview, that's about life. That ain't necessarily about music. Of course. Sorry, round of applause for you. Of course, it starts in a music arena, but when you get to kicking it, we talking about other shit. We not necessarily just talking about life mm-hmm. in those interviews. So I think it's almost like a, a slight to say that. You couldn't be in a bodega with Cardi or Nori. You get what I'm saying? Like, not saying it to her. Yeah. I'm just saying that you don't necessarily got to be having a music conversation. We from the same shit. So yeah. you could be sitting there with whomever. Nigga, you got interview David Beckham. You get what I'm saying? It don't necessarily have to be um, once you reach a certain plateau that you got to go to these people. I think it just uh, uh, it minimalizes the, 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 the ground up. Guys, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't want to say Chitlin Circuit. Yeah. I just don't have another no, time. Not, don't know, that's not accurate. At the stage of a lot of the people that we're talking about yeah. here, it's not the Chitlin Circuit. Mm-mm. Like, they'll go bowling with Ellen. Nigga, go bowling with Nori or Gilly. or You know what I'm saying? Not mm-hmm. even just saying us. You could go bowling with anybody. You could take it out of a, a music I mean, scenario. I, we don't interview a lot of guests, but there are guests that, let's say if they reached out, artists. Mm-hmm that may not have hit a certain plateau yet, that if they reached out, we'd be like, you know, we're going, we, not right now. Something like that. Mm-hmm. It, no, that, that happens. Yes. I think the the older JBP, but if Joe likes somebody, like they don't necessarily got to be super popping no for them to come sit here. That's true. You I'm, just got to have a genuine interest. You don't necessarily want to have genuine a phony story interview. Yeah. Story, yeah. yeah. Or just an interest in the person. But you don't want to have a phony interview. I agree. But there's... I, I'm certain artists of a certain they just haven't hit anything yet. We don't know or anything. We would not necessarily sit with them. Gotcha. Now this is I hate the circuit word, but this is kind of the trajectory. Once they hit, yeah, the trajectory mm-hmm. better. Like at some point, I know some artists personally that their goal is to come up here and sit with us. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. To them, if I get there, that I've I've hit a mark. I made, I, it. I made it. Now, once you grow to that next level, it's like now my goal is to sit with Oprah. When I sit my on goal Alan's is to couch, sit with I made it. It's like 
I did that. Mm-hmm. So I'm not necessarily mad at someone who I, I, they may feel they're too big or not. Yeah, they might be too big for certain interviews. Even. I will also say too, not for nothing, from like a creative standpoint, from someone who's been on productions of these types of shows for a long time at this point now, there is something funny or interesting about putting 20-something, 30-something-year-old Cardi B with fucking stiff-ass, corny-ass, 80-year-old. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. That's dope. Date. Like, there's, there's it's an dope. element of that. that where shit I, where is I can see why you would pick that one. And mm-hmm. Dave is witty. He's funny. He gonna shoot the jokes. She's funny. She's witty. I it's gonna be good banter. Cardi and Dave. Yeah. 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 We can use some That's true. Yeah. I was just saying, like, if you look at the, the list of um his, his new season is out. Mm. And the names he has on there. It's her. It's um Will Smith. Mm-hmm. He's dope. It's uh I saw Ryan Reynolds on there. Like he's he's hitting You favorited that one? I didn't favorite any of them. I didn't watch any of them. <laughs> well, I just saw the list. Nah, Dave Letterman, Letterman is you know, Dave Letterman. Letterman yeah, yeah. Like that's Dave Letterman what could saying. come in this like, space. It's still him. Yeah, he could come here and be having a laugh and joking with us. I'm just saying that I think that you could do both. Mm-hmm. And that's where I fall to. That's it. You could just do both. And in my opinion almost, and I don't want to use the O word. Because you don't owe anybody anything. But if we talking about the black excellence, mm-hmm. you kind of do owe it to keep everybody moving forward. Because uh, for a mega artist at this point in time, you, I won't say you're a mega artist because you're not an artist, but you have a great platform, a huge platform. Mm-hmm. So I think it just pulls everybody forward to do that out of the pocket interview. Again, a bowling shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just some bowling shit. Or y'all going to dinner laughing and joking at a hot dog stand. That shit takes off. Uh-huh. If it's compelling and laughy, jokey, and funny and witty, <clears throat> I think it just takes off. I don't know. Some of the shit Gilly and them do with, like, with Dion. Mm-hmm. That's funny. It's out of the box. You know what I'm saying? At the Jackson State locker room, yeah. that's dope. It pushes everybody involved forward. That's mm-hmm. true. It pushes everybody. That's so true. if Joe did an interview with, I don't know who. I don't want to use Cardi again as an example, but uh, I don't know, yo. Pharrell, Mm -hmm. on a boat, Mm -hmm. laughing and joking, everybody gets moved forward. You know what I'm saying? It just sees Pharrell in a different light, sees Joe in a different light. Everybody just moves forward. That's my opinion. Yeah, but that's his point. Like, that's true. But to want that, you got to want that. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want that, then you're never looking for that. And, And that can be assumed... Because if you want to have a hip hop conversation, mm-hmm. there is somebody that you can have that conversation with all throughout uh, urban media, mm-hmm. black media, That's true. and hip hop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can do That's your true. Charlemagne, you can do your Gilly. At got all the young boys going over mm-hmm. there. You can come come here. Mm-hmm. There, there are places you can go to get your shit off. So when you bypass that, it's a choice. Maybe not by you, but by your team. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. I think a lot of by that your is that. by your publicist. So that takes a conscious effort for somebody to say no. For artists, not somebody, but the artists mm-hmm. to say no. That's who I want to sit with. You bring up Nikki. She was a great example. I'm positive there will be a time where Nikki will need to go sit with GQ or America Vogue mm-hmm. or uh-huh. fucking mm-hmm. to have whomever a, yeah. to have that conversation. Yeah. But when it's time to get hip hop, she calls mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Yo, I'm comfortable with Joe. Get Joe over here. Not that she needs Joe. Right. Right. No. Right. Right. Her audience is. Yeah. They do. Come on. Stop. Mm-hmm. She don't need me. But it's a hip hop conversation. Right. And I respect that guy in hip hop. So let's have it. Isaiah Rashad. More of the same. Somehow I'm getting killed out here. Yeah, All I did was pick up a phone. They're killing you over that? Why? I ain't watched the interview yet. I, I just saw that recently. I was like, from wait From Clips a County. Uh, it's the people from Clips County. Got it. Clip went out where he's talking about uh, being sexually fluid. In, him, in, his, in his explaining, I asked if he was monogamous. Mm-hmm. It's only a clip. So the stupid people out there think that I think <laughs> mon- uh, being monogamous has something to do with being sexually fluid. Mm. Huh? Yeah. I, that's why you don't let a straight man it interview. Is. Like they was going. Crazy, oh, okay. They it was is. going crazy. Bro. It is. Yeah. I don't understand you the just correlation. That. Well, that's what they're saying. There's no correlation between being sexually fluid and being monogamous. Yeah. To an ignorant so, person, so they, they will think look that at it. I'm sexually asking fluid that. means you're just doing everything. So they think I'm asking so that. That's why he's asking because that. he's talking about being sexually yeah. fluid. Mm-hmm. Well, no. He said he's in a relationship. 
He said that his significant other is fully aware of this behavior, and he said, I have a hard time controlling. I don't. I can't control what I'm attracted to when I go in somewhere. Okay, well, are you monogamous? We saw what we saw. Mm. What is this? That's just a common question to me. Didn't have nothing to do with him being sexually oh, fluid. Dissect some shit to try and find. But it don't even yeah. matter. The deeper, shit the, shit the, the deeper part of that was, he clearly had an audience that he wanted to get a message to, mm-hmm. him or his team, mm-hmm. and they picked the person that they felt comfortable with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they picked the person that was supportive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they put it put it in a little video montage two times. Sometimes there's nothing to dissect. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I just I saw all praise. I didn't see one negative comment. That's yeah, all. I didn't yeah. see no negativity until not today. one. I was oh, like, oh shit, they're killing this. I commend him for having that conversation. Yeah, the way that he chose to have it. Mm-hmm. Nah, and I heard you handled it amazingly. From what I read, everything that I read. It's me, yo. You know, I got the hardcore exterior, and I've done a lot of dickhead shit. But I, am I allied to the fucking? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Again, I it's haven't just, seen one negative it's me, thing. Man. So. But, but if you don't know that, but if, you're looking if you don't know me, and if you're negative, just looking uh, for something, about to say, yeah, dog, you could have gave a fucking is. master class interview. Somebody will find something negative to pull because that's if what you want to pull something yeah. negative. And you know what a lot of the, the naysayers were saying? Mm-hmm. Well, why the fuck would he have that conversation with Joe? Well, because that's sweet. he's in hip-hop. <laughs> uh-huh. His entryway is hip-hop. Mm-hmm. See, he I wants can... to talk I think we limited in ourselves. Well, even I'm just with saying, the, that's, even with that's the Nicki not... shit, yo, it he might see somebody take music out of it. He might see somebody that he might feel comfortable discussing life with. Fuck hip hop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why they don't look at us to come here because they go to Ellen and them because they've transcended hip hop. So mm-hmm. you still put yourself in a box like, yo, if I want to talk hip hop, I could go to Joe. I could go to Nori. I could go to Gilly. No, nigga, if you want to talk life, you can come here. Mm-hmm. I would also have to but, imagine but a lot of but, people. Up oh, parks, but it's twofold. What you're saying is true, but all we are are conduits. So true. they use me to get to a particular audience. Mm-hmm. And that audience is a hip hop based audience. Mm-hmm. Now, hip hop is huge. So I don't want it to sound like I'm limiting us. Mm-hmm. But that's the difference. When when you when I see y'all going good morning, good day New York or good morning America with Michael Strahan, whatever one that is, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I know who you're trying to hit. Mm-hmm. I know what you're trying to do. When you True. go to seeing it, like every True. outlet, so that's just the label, but yeah. That that's who we wanted to talk to. Now on top of that, yeah, I'm comfortable with that person. That that's a person that I'll have a conversation with that don't have to be music based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't do that's much talking mean. about no music in that interview, that's what and I mean. he don't have no music coming. Mm. That's what I mean. and not for nothing, the people that aren't uh, just outside watching clips of you would know that you've been an ally to the LGBTQ plus community. For, not necessarily, for, or for maybe not. Like not necessarily, yeah. or maybe not. If I if I'm only again with the internet, you're gonna get what you're looking for. Mm. Any anything. If I, if I hate Joe and I just want to see shit that backs up my argument of why I hate Joe. Oh, you can find it. Yeah, I, that's I can, true. You I can, can literally that. tailor yeah. it to look. And that these algorithm shit is going to show me that. No, but Parks is saying people outside of a normal watcher, they would not They would think that. But somebody that normally watchers, watches. Right. You said yeah, someone that normally that's, watches, they oh, know yeah, you're yeah. an ally. Someone outside, outside of clip. Outside clip, of clip yeah, watchers. Yeah, exactly. Outside, outside clip watchers. Yeah, okay, yeah. my fault. Like anybody that knows, they know. Yeah, but the problem is it's a lot of ignorant motherfuckers. Yeah, it's the people that don't. Right. The people or the people that, that just want to dislike you or, or do dislike you for whatever or, reason. Or that. I dislike him from some shit from 10 years ago, so no See, matter what, I'm out, still yeah, going to Anybody out there attach. trying to go viral, I be trying my best to not. <laughs> I really be trying my best to just stay low, keep firing, not give nobody nothing to talk about. I've been trending for like two months straight by, by accident. <laughs> Honestly, he ain't be getting hyped. Niggas because hey, you're trending. <laughs> no one's happy about that. <laughs> like, that does nothing to my day. Couple of them were good. Yeah, but that what? does nothing to my day. I feel you. That does nothing to my pockets. Yeah. I'm already shadow banned wherever I'm shadow banned. Mm-hmm. The people that think negatively already think that. Mm-hmm. At this point, when you see those trending things come up, it's only helping whoever's posting it. Mm. <laughs> 
True. And the crazy shit is like when you start seeing a person that you don't like, i.e. a Joe, start mm-hmm. trending, what happens? You go get some shit off. Right. And that's what you why is he trending? Oh, probably because boom, 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 boom. Yeah. It's nothing to do with nothing, but it's when I don't like somebody, I'm just That was a bar you just said, Joe, by the way. What? That when someone's trending, the only people that are gaining from it is the public, the TMZs of the world or whoever posted the, the yeah. article. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I didn't want to, I didn't want to bypass that point. Well, the niggas that model their business like that. And there's some of them out there, but y'all know I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't do that. I'm not trying to trend with y'all. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Any, anyway, <laughs> congratulations on the interview. By Thank the way. you. Thank you. Yeah. Shout out to TDE. Shout out to Isaiah. Yeah, no, nah, it was it was great. It was great. New job. Uh, 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 u